Good morning, everybody. Today is December 5th, and Samsung just launched the registration for Samsung One UI 7 beta program. Now, it says here for the S24, the S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. I also see the word unlock right there, so that means maybe it's for the unlocked devices and not carrier locked devices. But if you guys do have like an AT&T or Verizon locked device, make sure you guys write your comments in the comment section below if you're able to sign up and get this installed. So because this just launched this morning, I'm going to show you how and where you're able to sign up for it, how you can get it installed on your device. And then later, I'll actually shoot a video of all of the features deep dive. Now, this right here is a quick little summary of the update. Anytime something happens with Samsung, I always get the update of what was just launched. So this is just stating that starting today, Samsung will roll out the One UI beta software update to the Galaxy S24 devices. So some of the features to look forward to, you have Look Now. So there's no unnecessary unlocking here. The new Now bar brings users their important notifications without having to unlock their device. So really, it's a little bar or a pill shape towards the bottom of the lock screen, giving you some of your details or notifications. Then for camera ready, users can switch between their favorite camera buttons, controls, and modes right from the preview screen. You also have writing tools anywhere. So summarizing and formatting just got easier. Writing tools can now be used without having to switch between applications. And then call transcript. When call recording is enabled, recorded calls will automatically be transcribed for later use. So it is also supporting up to 20 languages. And pretty much right here, it's talking about the latest security and privacy with newer features. So Knox Matrix Dashboard, recovery method for device data transfers with credential syncs. And it says right here, the official One UI 7 release will start in Q1 of 2025 with upcoming Galaxy S series devices will gradually roll out to other Galaxy devices, which means in January when they press release the Galaxy S25 series, that means that after that phone is released, then it'll officially start releasing Samsung One UI 7 after that during the first quarter. Now, if you want to have more details and visuals of all of these new features, you can go to Samsung Newsroom, and I'll actually place this link below the video inside of the description. So this is actually what I'll actually be coming back with, with giving you details and, and giving examples of exactly what they're doing here. So this is talking about some of the newer writing tools, so you're able to bullet point any article that you see. So you have your writing assist tools. This right here is for that call transcript. So pretty much if you have a phone call, you'll be able to have it transcribed so you can take a look at it later. You also have that new bar now or the now bar. So this right here is a way that you're able to see your notifications. And if you have running timers and uh, all that good stuff. So when you have applications running in the background, you'll have this towards the bottom, which is easier than having it towards the top because this is where your thumb is at. So you don't have to reach as far. So where and how are you able to sign up for the beta program? So you wanna make sure that you have the latest version of Samsung members. You can download this in the Galaxy Store. Once you go inside of the, the Samsung members application, it'll be one of these banners towards the top. It's usually the latest one, which means the last one because it was just recently added. So you tap right there. This is letting you know some of the details of what you're about to sign up for. But pretty much you tap on this little uh, banner on the very top. This is where you're able to sign up. So as you scroll on down, you're taking a look at everything. Then you have the word enroll towards the very bottom. So you hit on enroll. And then once you are enrolled, now you just basically check back to see whenever you get that little update. So the update of where you're able to find it is how you do it any other way. You head inside of your settings, you scroll down, you go to software update, you go to download and install. So just by tapping on it twice, it pretty much happened like within a minute. Here is our software update. So it says Samsung One UI 7 beta. Down over here, we'd be able to take a look at some of the key features and all of the changes, which we will hear in just a second. Here we are, Samsung One UI 7.0, Android 15. The version ends in ZXKZ. It's over four gigs. So this thing is 4,700 megabytes, giving us our December 1st security patch. So I'm not gonna go through all of these here just because this video mostly is to kind of get it out there, let you guys know that it is here and available for downloads. The last couple of videos I've done talking about the Samsung updates were kind of larger than normal. I was mentioning they were getting ready for Samsung One UI beta and I was 100% right. So the next video that I will upload will be talking about Samsung One UI 7 beta. That's gonna be basically going over every single thing that is brand new or at least the most noteworthy things. I'll try to give you guys details 
details and examples of every single thing that is here. Again, there is actually a lot that is going on. So we'll just kind of skim this really fast because this video mostly is to let you know that it is available and what to kind of expect. So underneath Galaxy AI, you can write like a pro, transcribe recorded calls, bold new look. You have visual enhancements, reimagined icons and widgets for the enhanced home screen, simplified home screen grid, improved home screen landscape view, customize your apps and widget styles, new widget settings, larger home screen folders, easier access to finder for lock screen and always on display. Stay on top of important tasks with the now bar. Make your clock look just the way you like it. More flexible editing, more widgets and shortcuts for quick panel and notifications, separate notifications and quick panels. You have live notifications, new notification layout, customize your quick panel for capture images with ease, new camera layout, mode selection improvements, enhanced zoom controls, save exposure settings for each mode, improved pro uh, and pro video modes, line up perfect shot. You also have erase objects from photos, free form collages, edit collages and stories, motion photo effects, powerful video editing. You have easily undo your edits and animate your videos, manage your health, stay mindful, new Samsung health badges, never forget your medications, check your health records for proofs or boost your productivity previews for minimized apps, group your alarms, keep your alarms at the same volume, enhanced file selection, view more on large screens, advanced options for routines for planned tasks and events, easily reschedule calendar events, show separate calendars on widgets, count down the days to an important event, move all events to one calendar to another, more options for repeating reminders, enhanced quick add menu, automatically delete completed reminders, reuse completed reminders, and for connect and share, recommended devices for quick share, continue sharing over the internet, and then protect your security. Check your security status on your devices. Stay safe from security threats. For battery and charging, more options for battery saving, more control over battery protection, new charging effect, and then for accessible to everyone, zoom in and out with just one finger, enhanced screen controls, customize your touch interactions, and then for even more, watch videos again, improved contacts list, quickly add boarding passes to Samsung wallet, activity forecasts, custom place labels, boost your gaming, set performance for each game, end of support for downloading edge panels. Ooh, so we'll see exactly what they mean by that. I guess there's uh, they end the support of downloading edge panels. So they want you to use what is already there, meaning if you've already downloaded some, you can continue to use it. OK. All right. So this is the update. That was everything in a full, complete nutshell of just high level overview of each thing that is brand new. I'll actually come right on back trying to explain and show in detail all of those things with some examples. But let's go through and get it installed. Again, this thing is over four gigs. It just became available pretty much right now, almost at the time of shooting this video. Hopefully you guys appreciated coming out super quick with giving you guys these details. Maybe I will wait for it to turn on before I finish this video, or if not, this also could be the end of the video. So this way I can start cracking down on everything brand new so I can shoot a brand new video tonight of everything that you'd be able to look forward to with Samsung One UI 7. I believe that's what I'm gonna do. I already outlined everything of what is new, what to kind of expect, some of the high level key brand new features. Uh, and I wanna let you know that it's available right now. So this way I can edit the video, get it updated, get it uploaded. So you guys can start watching it immediately before the beta fills up. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. If you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.